Welcome back to the channel. It's a 90 plus degrees day today, so I thought I'd come inside, get out of the sun, and teach this lesson. This is a great song by Steve Warner. At the end, I'm going to show you how Steve actually plays it acoustically. I try to play it in a lower position. I think it sounds nice. His is more with bar chords, but I will show you both ways. So let's get started. The song is in A flat, and I'm going to capo the first fret, so we're going to be playing it as if it's G. So I'm going to call off the chords as if the capo weren't here, and let's just jump right in. The first chord in the song is a D over G, and how I play this is I play the G, then the F sharp on the fourth string, and then the A on the third string. So it's... Now you can also add with your ring finger the D on the second string, so it'll be which I sometimes play, and in the song you can hear when he does that, but really we're just going to play to a G, only going up to the second string. So we got... to a G over C, which is just going to be the C played with everything open up to the B. And then a C chord. Now here's the walk-up. I'm going to show you the full way to play it if you wanted to be a little ambitious and finger pick it. However, when live, and I've seen him play it, and I would just play it like this, where you just play A minor 7 to a D11 with the B, C walk-up, so it would be like... But you could also play it like... So you'd have the C with the A, the B with the B, the C with the G, and then the D11 playing that. But when it gets to playing and you're singing, it's just easy to play. Okay. So again, let me just show you the intro, how it's played. Then the verse cuts right in, again with these two chords. A couple of days isn't a very long time. And again now. Why can't I just walk away? I used to be good at goodbye. It's a G over B. Now we're getting into the pre-chorus, A minor 7. Out on the water, E minor 7. Now how I play this, I'm going to play to a D and then back. E minor 7 to a C sus 2. C add 9, however you like to look at it. And let me just play that for you so it goes. Out on the water Under the stars I let the moonlight play a trick on my heart You had some fun for the weekend Chorus so it does that D to D over G. Now it's going to go a D over E to an E minor 7. And I'm just lifting up everything except for that D. So it's... Then to the C over C, to the C. Again. Again. Now this part goes to an E flat 5, which I just played as E flat, B flat, E flat here. I finally found to an F, to a B flat, G minus 7, to an E flat. And how I'm playing this E flat is it's just like a C, but we slide it up a, a minor third. And I'm only playing up to the second string to a C minor 7 
and then to an F11, which is just F, and then we play an E flat triad underneath that, which is going to be B flat, E flat, G. So. Then it does the intro again. Okay, so let me just show you the chorus. You had some fun for the weekend And I'll be in love for the rest of my life You took me out to the deep end And I feel right over I didn't think twice I finally found something worth keeping And if I can't have Verse 2 is the exact same thing. Second chorus is the same thing, except for how we come out of the second chorus. So I'm going to play the second chorus and show you how we get into the bridge. So the second chorus is... You had some fun for the weekend And I'll be in love for the rest of my life You took me out to the deep end And I fell right Here it stays on this G to an F. E flat major seven. How much can happen in a F night or now here's a G add nine. E flat major seven. F D minus seven C. And then right back into the chorus, which is gonna end the song. So let me just play the bridge coming out of that chorus. Depending on your point of view, you had some fun for the weekend. And that's how you play the weekend. That is how I play the weekend. And now I'm going to show you how Steve plays the weekend. We're going to take this capo and we're going to move it to the four. And now to play it in A flat, we're going to look at everything like it's E, okay? And what he does is he plays a B like here, muting the fifth string, and then to this, which would be an E chord, the G sharp B E over the bass. So it's... to an E over A, to an A, F sharp minus seven, G sharp to A, and then B11. All right, so let me show you that one more time. Again, now we're going to use this walk down of this G sharp, and now we're going to play an F sharp minor seven out on the water, C sharp minor seven, and then he lifts up to play that B chord, but he's just and again under the stars, I let the moonlight play a B. A sus two. You had some fun for the 
And now here's the chorus. And now we take this first finger, we're going to play it with this C sharp in the bass. To this E over A. Again. And now we play a C. I finally got to a D. Something worth to a G. Keeping E minor 7. If I can have you to C. A minor 7. At least I. D11. And then back up here. Which is the intro. coming to the bridge and the bridge is this E chord to a D C major 7 how much can happen in a D not a E add 9 E B F sharp G sharp B E C major 7 I guess it's all depending D B minus 7, point of A sus 2. Anyways, that's how the song goes. It just keeps repeating. It's awesome. That's the way Steve plays it. At first, I'll show you the way I play it. One of my all-time favorite songs. One of my all-time favorite artists. One of my all-time favorite guitar players. I dig it. You dig it. Very good.